What's happening, folks? This is Live Up and Mike. I'm a VR variety streamer on Twitch. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Live Up and Mike. All the virtual reality games I play, uh, dates and times can be found on my Twitch channel. We just finished a game called Phantom Covert Ops. It is a spy game in the vein of a Metal Gear Solid or like a Splinter Cell, except the entire game takes place in the kayak. The full playthrough of that game is available on this channel as well. Throughout the course of the game, you can collect audio logs that fill in some of the backstory for the main villain. I've gone through and collected those off stream, and now we're going to go through and listen to them. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel. All of my VR content from Twitch will be translated to YouTube in one form or another. So subscribing and dropping a like will really help me out. All right, team, listen up. NATO Command have learned that a Russian general by the name of Nikolai Zhurov has gone rogue. Word is, he has access to some very unpleasant chemical weapons. Not the kind of thing anyone wants loose in the world. Publicly, the Soviet Union denies all knowledge of this. But privately, they want him liquidated. With all due respect, Colonel, why the hell is this our problem? Let the Ivans clean up their own damn mess. If only it were that simple, Captain Watts. In the interests of detente, NATO has tasked the Phantoms with the kill order. We go in, confirm Zhurov is on site, and mark the location. Then a flight of MiGs will accidentally release their bomb loads <coughs> and solve Moscow's problem. The Russians need our help to bomb their own country? Do they want to start World War III? It's all politics, Watts. And with everything going on in Vietnam right now, we could use the Ruskies owing us a favor. Ours is not the reason why, I guess. That's the spirit, son. We get to invade Russia and put down a rabid dog in the process. Something to tell your grandkids about. Not unless they have a bub top secret clearance, sir. We do the job quick and quiet, then we're back home by dinner time. Any questions? Just one, sir. They're not gonna make us eat any of them fish eggs, are they? This isn't a joke, Zero Four. Jurov's not some Red Army desk jockey. He's one of their best. A stone killer. Not a problem, sir. He'll never see us coming. Wow, okay, so that took place in 1966 at the NATO HQ's a briefing room. So we learned that Colonel Watts, who was the brief who briefed you at the beginning of the mission, had died in mission three. Uh, actually was a phantom himself, and he was sent in to take off Zhirov the first time. 1966, Voldat, outskirts. Phantom Actual, this is Zero One, approaching Voldat base, Altamarca. Going to radio silence. Damn, look at the size of this place. The Ruskies are smart hiding in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Well, keyhole satellites never overfly this area. They could be making who the hell knows what out here. I gotta wonder, sir, if the Red Army are willing to give up this place just to put this cat Jurov in the ground. How dangerous does he have to be? Yes, I'm thinking the same thing. I guess we just smoke him and see how the chips fall. Nothing's that clear-cut, son. Find him, track him, kill him. Seems pretty damn clear to me, sir. Don't get overconfident. I see men like Jurov up close. Russians always have a plan, Captain. I'm not worried. You should be. Arrogance makes you sloppy. It gets men killed. You want to step up to command one day, you learn that lesson now. Whatever you say, sir. Okay. Looks like there's a way in near the south wall. We'll make our entry there. Follow me. Number three, 1966, that Warehouse. This one's called Bear Trap. Saw movement. Someone's out there. I've got a bad lights on. What the floodlights? We're pinned. Damn it. Here are our uninvited guests. How rude of you not to announce yourselves. I wonder who sent you. Was it those cowards in the Politburo? Or did they entice the rest to do their dirty work for them? I can shoot out that light. Wait for the right moment. We'll only get one chance. Yes. I know who you are. The Phantoms. You have a very impressive reputation. Tonight, 
I will put an end to it. Firing! Kill them all! Okay, so in mission, oh gosh, I think it's three or four. There's a whole exchange over the radio about Colonel Watts saying, I'm not going to let someone else go. And the person he's talking to says, you're letting past events clear your ju cloud your judgment. This has to be what they were talking about. Wow. All right, 1966, Voldat Sewer Tunnels. This is number four. It's called Fire from the Sky. Phantom Actual, do you read? This is Phantom Zero Four. I'm, I'm all that's left. Shit. They're right on top of me. Phantom Actual, if you copy this transmission, my radio is damaged. I can't hear you. One of them is still alive. Find them, you dogs. That bastard killed the colonel. We have to stop him. I'm activating my locator beacon. Jurov is right here. Tell the MiGs to drop their bombs on these coordinates. Do it now. There. He's down there. Get a light in that sewer. I see you, water rat. I gotta get out of here. Wait, what is that? No! Ah! Sorry. Watts was willing to get blown up to get zero off. All right, number five, what must be sacrificed? 1966, fall that collapse building. Still alive. Not enough. Not enough to kill me. Never enough. Ah, ah, they're on my leg. Trapped in the rubble. Move. Anyone out there? Do you hear me? No one? Hold on then. Sophie. Too much weight. I cannot lift. Remember what Father said. To survive, one must be willing to shed all weakness. Make sacrifices. I refuse to die here. Every egg is a nail in the coffin of my enemy. I have too many battles to fight, too much hate to give to the world. Zhirov cut off his own leg. In mission two, when we first saw he was alive, he had a peg leg. Now we know why. Number six from the ashes, 1966 Black Sea Extraction Chopper. How is he still breathing, Peter? I don't know. He should be a corpse, but there he sits. He cut through his own leg and dragged himself out of the rubble. What drives a man like that? I'll tell you what, Mikhail. Raw, seething hatred. You can see it in his eye. Like black fire. True what they say. Shurov is like Koshe, from the old legends. But death was king. That's a fairy story for children. I thought so too. But today, we found a man too angry to die. You the... Peter. Is that your name? Oh, yes, sir, General Zurov. How much longer? We will reach the ship in ten minutes, sir. After that, the voyage to Africa will take four days. Africa. As good a place as any to heal and rearm. Sir, what will we do now? With Titan destroyed, how do we... Titan survives. And for all that has been lost, the plan... I acted too quickly. I drew the attention of weak and fearful men. I will not make that mistake again. From now on, 
we will be water eroded in stone, silent and inexorable, formless and impossible to contain. But we have nothing left, sir. Only ashes. How can we rebuild from that? We are not the only ones who want to redraw the map of the world. Others will help us. And in time, there will be pain in full for this ignominy. And zero of just monologuing, not too much interesting there. Number seven, full circle, 1982, Voldat Ruins. All those years ago, and yet it seems like only a moment. <coughs> I beg your pardon, General? This place, Voldat, this was the site of my defeat, my death. Or so the world believed. But now, I have come full circle. I am reborn. And with me, Titan rises anew. The men stand ready, sir. The repair teams have already been deployed, and our scouts are reporting in from across the sector. Do you understand what this represents, these fallen ruins? Sir? This is the Russian spirit, comrade. We endure every slight. We weather every attack. We do not perish. We only retrench and return. We taught that lesson to the Nazis in the great patriotic war. And we will teach it to the West again and again until our enemies finally understand. Only Russia endures. Only Russia remains. Set them into work. We have much to do. By your command, General. All right, number eight, The Coming War, 1986, that Hangar. Comrades, brothers hmm. and sisters in arms, it is my honor to command you. All of you have sacrificed much to be part of our great plan. Years of secrecy and toil, blood and sweat shed in equal measure. I tell you now, we are closer than we have ever been to our goal. With the help of our associates, the shadow of the Titan looms large above us. For years we have lain dormant, waiting for the coming war. All of us gathering our strength and our hate in the service of one cause. I look around me and what do I see? The reviled and the forgotten. Patriots rejected by their governments. Bold warriors shackled by weaklings. We are all outcasts, but only we see clearly. Only we are the true patriots. We alone understand the brutal reality, and only we have the courage to do what must be done. Our old enemies, the decadent West, are infecting the motherland with their poison. Perhaps one day, their hollow shell of corruption will collapse and consume them. But we will not wait for history to prove us right. Ours is the hand upon the reins of destiny, and we will turn it to the course that we decide. The enemies of the motherland will die, choking out their final breath, and we, my comrades, will watch it happen. Number nine, the tool of an artist, 1987, Voldat Holding Cell. I will confess, you are not what I expected, Irina Arlova. That is not my name. Don't lie to me, girl. Or what? You'll slit my throat? You're going to do that whatever I say. You know the lesson in how the world really works. The men who hired you to kill me? They're all dead now. I don't believe you. You know who I am. You know what is said about me. You know what I am capable of. What do you want? I want you to work for me, Irina. No more jobs for Bradford thugs who grope you and undervalue your skills. 
I see a soldier in you. I see the new Russia in your eyes. I came here to put a bullet through your head, and now you're offering me a job? You killed a dozen of my militia before you were caught. More than that, you did it with artistry. You have talent. And I hate to waste potential. Let me prove my sincerity by giving you a gift. Here, take this. This is a thread cutter. A prototype. An advanced sniper rifle I recently procured. It's the tool of an artist. I've been looking for someone worthy of it. Who do you need me to kill? And that's how he recruited Orlova. That's chilling. Number 10, Cutting Threads, 1987, Kaluga City, Rooftop. Do you see him, Irina? Da, General. Dark hair, medium build, full beard. He's sitting on the terrace, drinking tea. He has a book. What is he reading? The title is Mother. <laughs> Maxim Gorky. How pretentious. But then he's always been a man too clever for his own good. Distance of target? 716 meters. Well within your capabilities. You may fire at your discretion. Wait. I have additionals entering the kill zone. A woman, a young boy. Ah, his wife and son. They are not designated target. This man, he has become an impediment to our work. He knows too much about Titan. Today, he goes to Moscow to reveal what he has learned. That cannot be permitted. He must be removed, and this is our only opportunity to do so. I understand. It takes commitment, Irina, to make hard choices. To widow a wife or to orphan a child. But I believe in you. Better this way. Now no one will remain to grieve. She killed the wife and son too. That is... That's cold, to say the least. Number 11, Titan's Wrath, 1991, Volda, Titan Lab. Comrades, it has come to my attention that some of you are questioning our cause. Some of you have faltered in your commitment, such as this wretch standing before us. General, please, I, I don't... <clears throat> do not speak again. This one became lax in his work. He sought to enrich himself on our expense. He communicated with his criminal friends on open channels, putting all of us at risk. Put him inside the test chamber. No, wait, sir, please stop. Some of you doubt that the Titan weapon can do what I have promised. So I concluded that the demonstration is required. Open the valves. You see how the chemical agent acts almost instantly. It is absorbed directly through skin contact. It feeds into the nervous system, causing terrible agony and bone-breaking muscle spasms. Then it liquefies the internal organs, turning them into a black, toxic slurry. Deployed from a missile warhead, the weapon can kill an entire city. It's quite a horrific way to die, I'm sure you will agree. This is the Titan's wrath we will unleash on our enemies. I trust I will not need to demonstrate it again. And David Hader, uh, the guy who voiced Giraffe, he also voiced Solid Snake and Metal Gear Solid. My man is earning his money. Number 12, Rat in the Walls, 1991, Voldat, Jurov's HQ. General, you summoned me. We have rats in our walls, comrade. Sir? I don't understand. History repeats itself. Perhaps it is fated. But this time, things will be different. We will succeed. You mean, the intruder? The patrols report no more sightings, sir. <laughs> They must have fled the area. Do not question me. These phantoms tried to kill me once before. They paid for their hubris. But one of them escaped. It seems the lesson he was taught did not take. I will have the militia check the area again. What? 
I should have hunted him down, killed him. I will rectify that mistake tonight. Double all patrols. Tell the men there will be a bounty. A year's pay to anyone who brings me these phantoms. I'll tell them to shoot on sight. There will be no survivors this time. Okay, so what I just got from that one is this game to actually takes place in 1991 instead of 21st century. All right, number 13, Death of a Nemesis, 1991, Voldat, Helicopter Wreckage. So this is actually mid-game. This is shortly after Mission 3, where Colonel Watts gets killed. That's literally right after the wreckage, or right after Watts was killed. Number 14, Undying. 1991 Voldat ruined submarine pen. They destroyed the submarine! Where is the general? Was he on board? I don't know! Wait! Look! In the water! Do you see? The body, is that? <clears throat> no. I think it's... It's sure. How can you tell? So badly burned. Help me get the general on board. At least we can give him a burial worthy of a hero of Russia. Forget that corpse. We need to get out of here. Moscow will be sending soldiers to search for survivors. You want to flee? You traitorous coward. Don't be a fool. Zhurov's insane scheme is in ruins. Nothing could survive this. <laughs> Ah, what was that? Still, alive. He, he's not dead. What? That's impossible. The deathless king. Too full of hate to die. <laughs> Just right at the end of the game, after uh, my character pulls out, apparently Jorov's still alive. That's setting up a sequel, hopefully. Number 15, last one, Brotherhood, 1991, location redacted. Red 7, reporting in. Affirmative. Yes, sir. I recovered the research logs. Assassin, Arlova. Thankfully, the Phantom put an end to her before word could spread. Zhurov has been neutralized, and Voldat is finally returned to the dirt. The Russians are picking apart the wreckage as we speak. No matter. His corpse will tell them anything. The Phantom was impressive. We should watch them closely. No, there is no need. Titan is in our hands now. Oh, whoa. Okay, so at the end of the actual game, um, there's a conversation between the guy running our op and the Russians. Because Leon was the guy who helped us throughout the game, and we find out that Leon is not Leon. The real Leon was killed. So we have no idea who this guy is. But apparently they took over Titan. Which is terrifying. This absolutely sets up a sequel, so... 
If you enjoyed this, please leave a like on the video. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Subscribe to the channel. All of my content from my Twitch streams will be translated to YouTube, along with any extras, because this did not make the Twitch stream at all. This is a YouTube exclusive. Along with uh, game reviews, top game lists, things of that nature. So you can follow along on twitch.tv slash live of a mic, and you can follow along on YouTube for any extras that don't make it into the stream. Thank you for watching. Until next time, always remember to respect your elders.